This is Mark Soden with Instant Interviews. I'm here with Mike Winchester. I perform as a POTAR. I've been doing that for 15 years or so now, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little less, who knows. Um, looking forward to playing the show. Uh, always have a good time watching Fog Machine, so this should be a, a no-brainer. What led you to circuit bending? Uh, what led me to circuit bending was I had a Roland TR505 drum machine that had been pretty much abused to the point where the potentiometers for the volume and tone and, and all that stuff, they just didn't work and they were scratchy and if you cranked it up all the way it worked perfect. If you tried to adjust the volumes at all, it just cut out back and forth. So I was looking for these uh, replacement potentiometers. Mm -hmm. And I stumbled across, uh, I think, Burn Kit 2600 um, early website, where they had been uh, already modifying these Rolands. And at that point, they really didn't have a lot of information. You know, they had some picks and some internal picks. And they it was, uh, you know, uh, you opened it up, and these are the areas to, to screw around with. And uh, that's kind of how I uh, found circuit bending. And then from there, it was just, you know, every time I was at the Swap Me buying records, I was looking for drum machines or keyboards or anything else. You had pretty good success your first time out then with that drum machine. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, I mean, I, I honestly, like, I hadn't really, I had taken some electronics classes in high school, and just like everybody else in my class, we couldn't get any of this stuff to really work. So circuit bending was like the easy way to successfully get into looking at electronics from a different point of view than, uh, you know, schematics. And, you know, it, of course, led to me wanting to learn more about electronics and getting into schematics and all that. But, you know, it was a real easy way in. Uh, when you have a decent guide, uh, you don't burn a lot of machines and you get pretty decent results all the time. And there's... Burn Kit 2600 guys were really the the intro for me. Oh, that's great. Are you excited about playing at uh, Disco Noise? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, yeah. Um, I think it's it's an interesting concept, and uh, it's I'm I'm actually probably not going to be drum machine heavy, which I normally am, because it sounds like there's going to be a drum machine off to the side. So I'm hoping to do a lot of uh, oscillating. Oh, that sounds great. Do you have any advice for people that might want to get started in circuit bending? I know that you, you gave a class that I took one time, mm -hmm. and it was really fun. Have you done that lately? No, I, I haven't actually. Um, you know, I, I still screw around in the garage, and I, I have been building, you know, circuit board type projects a lot lately rather than uh, circuit bending. Um, you know, I've kind of hit all the major machines a bunch of mm -hmm. times that I want to, you know, mess with, and that got kind of boring, so I ended up, you know, learning a little bit more about, you know, working with breadboards and different ICs and, you know, making drone modules and guitar effect pedals. And that's that's oh. been really fun. It's, it's, uh, circuit bending was really an intro into more of a, uh, you know, DIY uh, electronics uh subculture that, that is on the internet. There are so many people in so many groups. I couldn't even list the, the top ten. Um, but that's really the way to go. Cool. It's all, it's all online at this point. It's so much easier now. Thank, <laughs> thank, thank you, internet. Yes. Sometimes it really does help. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks a lot. And uh, we'll see you in August at Disco Noise. And have a nice evening. Alrighty, you too. Thank you.